So I'm living in Seattle now, and I love it. It's my favorite place. Uh, it's very expensive to live, so I have to have a roommate, which I've mentioned several times before. What I didn't mention to you guys is my roommate is a lady. <laughs> And I don't feel like a lot of y'all were picturing a lady there. And that's your own bigotry. That's between you and yourself. That's really something you need to ask yourself about. Now, we're not dating in any way. She's just my roommate, just a friend of mine. Uh, she's really the only person that can tolerate me is what we say. Uh, it's cool. It's weird. Like, she's one of those gals she'll like go out on dates, bring guys home. And I don't know how to feel about that, right? Like she went to a bar the other day. She picked up a dude. That guy came back to our house, stayed the night, and then the next morning, all three of us found ourselves eating breakfast together. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you right now, Provo, that guy had no idea what was going on. <laughs> uh, he was a little concerned <laughs> over what was going on there. So I think I'm charming, I, I lighten the mood, I look at the guy, I'm like, come on, man, we're both adults. Are we seriously gonna sit here eating eggs and not talk about the fact that you slept with my wife in our house last night? <laughs> and I just threw my eggs at the wall and walked out of the room, you know? On my way out, I whispered at her though. I was like, hey, good luck. <laughs> oh yeah, and the best thing is, I can do it again to any guy she brings over. What's she gonna do, warn him? I'm like, that's gonna work. <laughs> what could she possibly say? She's gonna be like, wanna hear the rest of the joke? Click the play button to continue watching.